I think the first step in designing a car is you need a concept. What, what are you making? And then you just immediately are sketching like nonstop. When we set out to do this, we were looking at a way to bridge the gap between the, the race car being at SEMA and the production car. And in between there, what could somebody do to a TLX? Designing the face of the TLX, it was a challenge. How do you alter it to not dishonor the design itself, but also relish it and give it a whole new fresh feel? I wanted to give it uh, aggressiveness, not too over the top, but it's enough to let people know that this is not your ordinary TLX. Probably one of the biggest uh, things that we do a lot of is clay molding. And we're able to really sculpt the lines and get all the different intricate details in there. There's a lot of lines that kind of start small and then we go and really accentuate them, come to a point and then we go away. It's amazing how adjusting tension points on a line just create emotion. Those are the things that not take away from the design of the car, but accentuate it. You know, you're working obviously little by little on it, but it's also you gotta think of the big picture. The concept for the rear end was race inspired, but also too it had to look appropriate for the streets. We ended up creating this really nice duck bill spoiler that just comes off nicely off the end and it just looks like it's meant to cut through air. So in the rear diffuser, we wanted to bring a, a completely different styling effect that you kind of see on more of an exotic or, or supercar kind of thing with, uh, with the diffuser fins and, and, and whatnot and uh, the cut through exhaust rather than a, a typical dump. So there, there's a lot of kind of trick details, not only in the front, but obviously a lot of work went into the back as well. It's all these little nuances and details that add up to the big picture that ultimately comes out for a good design. We got ADV1 wheels going on this thing, Willwood brake kit, and to get the perfect stance, we got it sitting on RSR coilovers. And to add another element to the raciness and just where I think grabs most people is the color. The paint on this is pretty amazing. It's a really unique blue. It's a blue, but it's something I don't think anyone's ever seen before. And uh, I guess that's why everybody loves prototype stuff, because it's the mystery, you know? Guarantee someone's gonna wanna whip out their phone and take a picture of it, because it's just, it's, it's badass. Working with outside people is always gonna open your eyes to some different perspective or, or to some other points of view, especially somebody like Galpin. And I think the result you see is pretty impressive. I'm thinking everyone's going to be blown away by the car. It's a work of art, for sure.